I have in front of me all of my budget-friendly favorites. These are the all-stars, if you will, from the drugstore. Everything here is under $20. I have two things that are $21 or $22, but everything else is under $20. And these are not my favorites because they are under $20. These are my favorites that happen to be under $20. I am gonna have a corresponding blog post. Be sure to visit that. I will link that in the description box. And if you are new here, my name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. I'm excited that you're here. We're gonna share some drugstore skincare favorites. First up, we're gonna talk about the double cleanse. Number one is gonna be by Vanilla Co. Now this is their Clean It Zero. This has been a favorite of mine for many years. I love it. I've gone through several of these tubs. It is a balm cleanser and it effectively just loosens up all of that oil, makeup, sunscreen, everything. You put a dollop, I literally use my finger, you guys, I go like that, and I just disperse it across my face. It takes off my eye makeup, everything. It is fragrance free and it is good for most skin types. It's a really large tub for a good price. It is a perennial favorite. Now the other one that has also been my favorite for a really long time is by Physicians Formula. This is their Perfect Matcha. This is the Green Tea Balm. This one does have a fragrance, but I love it. I think that it is so soothing. I use it all the time. I've gone through so many of these. This one doesn't leave a film at all on my eyes, which that is one of the things with a first cleanse that sometimes they can leave kind of an oily film on your eyes. That drives me nuts. This one doesn't do that to me, but it does effectively loosen up all my eye makeup, all of my face makeup, my sunscreen, all of that. And the scent is super gentle and it's very soothing and calming, perfect for at night. I love this one. But if you don't like fragrance, you probably don't want this one. It's a gentle fragrance, but it's in there. So that is my other favorite. For a second cleanse, a relatively new but really big favorite now is going to be the Vanna Cream. If you have not tried this Vanna Cream from the drugstore, you are missing out. This is one of the best cleansers I've tried in a very long time. You guys probably know that I love my Is Clinical Cleansing Complex and I also love the Dr. Brandt Clean Biotic. Those are pretty expensive and this one is between 10 and $15. It is kind of a thin consistency and it does foam just a little bit, but it doesn't strip your skin at all, at all. And yet it gets rid of all of that first cleanse stuff completely leaving your skin just feeling really good. It just feels clean, not not tight and dry, not like it has a residue, it's just perfect. It is eight ounces, it comes in a pump, it's fragrance free, it's free of a bunch of other stuff in there. It's just a really clean cleanser. I love it, it is so good. Perfect second cleanse, especially if you're on a budget, but it's a great one even of all price points. The other one, that has been a favorite of mine, but I've pulled it back out and I've been using it a bunch in the morning. Cause in the morning, I'm one of those people who, I cleanse my skin in the morning. I can't just splash it with water. It's not something that I, I feel like I want to refresh and start over, but I don't need anything that is overly cleansing. I just want a gentle cleanser. This La Roche-Posay Tolarian Gentle Cleanser. This is a perfect morning cleanse to me. Now, if you are ultra dry, this one to me is not that hydrating. This is a good if you're normal or if you are normal too dry, this one is fantastic. It is just a great reset in the morning. It reminds me a lot of the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. No foam, it's just this slippy kind of lotion feeling, but it leaves your skin really nice and just gently clean. It does have niacinamide in it, which is fantastic. That's vitamin B3. It is huge, you guys, 13 and a half ounces with a pump. I mean, my goodness, I love La Roche-Posay. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands. I discovered it first, oh my gosh, 10 years ago when I was overseas in Europe and it's in pharmacies and everything there and I just love it. I have so many favorites from this brand, but this is an all-time favorite. I've loved it for a long time and it's such a good value. 
Okay, exfoliator. I unfortunately don't have a chemical exfoliator under 20 bucks that is wowing me right now, but what I do have is a manual exfoliator that is pretty awesome. That is the Dermatology Microdermabrasion Scrub. Now, this one actually uses super, super finely milled pumice to gently exfoliate. The pumice is super fine, but it is super, super gritty. So it's not going to rip up your skin, but it's gonna gently buff, you know, dry patches or flakes. I love this. I've been kind of off manual scrubs for a really long time. I, I just don't use them much. I have my Clarista, which has jojoba esters and a retexturizing gel, and I love that one, but it's in the $50 range. This is well under 20 bucks, and it definitely leaves your skin kind of like a baby's butt. Now, obviously you wanna go in and you don't wanna over scrub, but because that pumice is so, so fine, you can tell that it's not ripping up your skin. It's just buffing away textural irregularities, which is kind of the perfect manual scrub. This would be great for, you know, if you start to get Retin-A flakes, but you want a gentle way to buff them away, because it's gentle, but it's super, super effective. It's not like when you use one of those exfoliators that it feels like it has like 10 beads in it, and you're like, what's the point here? This one, you actually can really feel the scrub, but in a super duper fine fashion. I love it. It is a gem from Dermatology. I've actually had this for a while. I've had it for a while. I hadn't pulled it out because I was sure that it was like, I'm not gonna use a manual scrub. I'm probably not. The very first time I used it, I was like, what? That is so good. And your skin looks and feels so good after. It's really good. So that is the Dermatology Microdermabrasion Scrub. Essences. I'm gonna start with my Sukiyaka Suhara. This has been a favorite for a long time. I'm gonna talk about it again because I think there are a lot of people that have not heard about it and it's amazing. This is a urea-based water essence. I pour a little bit in the palm of my hand and I pat it into my face, my neck, my decollete. It has urea, it has other humectants in there, it has licorice for brightening and soothing, it has ceramides. It isn't a miracle. Like I, I love it so much, but it's almost like the tipping point. I love to put this on and while it's still damp on my skin, I go in with a serum. And I feel like that one-two punch of hydration is just incredibly hydrating and it's like it just soaks into my skin. I love it. It is not gonna replace a dedicated serum. It's not gonna replace a moisturizer. It isn't going to feel like you're all of a sudden crazy moisturized from this. It's just that little extra that doesn't leave any residue that is a just a nice extra step if you are someone who is dehydrated or dry. I love it. Okay, the next one is gonna be the Isentree Green Tea Fresh Toner. Because I've gone through a ton of this because I use this before LED treatments and I love it for that. I love putting this on, I wait a little bit and then I do an LED treatment. I like green tea with LED. I think it's a great combo of antioxidant plus light therapy. But the other way that I do use this if I have gone in too hard and my skin is sensitized or it's just mad at me or it's red, I can use this in the morning and it definitely helps to soothe my skin. Green tea is very, very soothing. So I love it for that as well. I mean, so this to me is kind of a twofold. I don't use it every single day, but when I do use it, it's lovely and I love the effect on my skin. So I'm glad to have this on hand. The third and final toner is relatively new to me and I got this actually for my husband but I wanted to share it in this video because I'm pretty excited about the ingredient deck and I want you to know about it especially guys that get ingrown hairs and this is the cause de Baja this is their salicylic acid it's a toner with salicylic acid and niacinamide so it's two percent salicylic acid and it's two percent niacinamide comes in a pump Cause de Baja is just a fantastic brand. Their hyaluronic acid is my favorite for microneedling. It's a high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. That's how I discovered the brand was by their HA. I've tried so many other things from their brand because they're inexpensive and they're just really, really good. So I got this one for my husband because he shaves his neck and he gets ingrown hairs sometimes. And so I want him to use 
a salicylic acid product. So I got this one for him and he's testing it out. I will definitely report back, but the fact that it's 2% salicylic acid, which is a perfect percentage and 2% niacinamide, which isn't huge. I mean, but it's a little bit of that vitamin B3. It should really help with ingrown hairs it could help with congestion if you have blackheads or oil issues. Salicylic acid is great for that. So I will report back on this one, but it's very, very promising for sure. Serums. Two. I have two, you guys. One I found at Walgreens. I found this whole line at Walgreens, and I was super intrigued because the packaging is good, and some of the products are, first of all, really reasonably priced, and you get a decent amount. And I love the ingredients. So it is the Miss Spa. Now this is their hydration hookup. This is a serum and it comes in this tube packaging with a pump, which I love. I feel like a lot of times at the drugstore, that's where they're lacking is in the packaging. Now this is hyaluronic acid and that's a humectant that's gonna help give your skin a drink of water, but it's also CoQ10, which is a great antioxidant, you guys. So if you've been on the hunt for a good hydrating serum that's just gonna plump up your skin and give it a little bit of a drink of water, this one's a really great price. It has a great ingredient deck. And I ran out of my my Neod Multimolecular Hyaluronic Acid and I've been using this instead and I love it. So that is the Miss Spa Hydration Hookup. The second serum that is an all-time favorite is my Derma E. This is the DMAE. I did a whole video on this, you guys, and I will link that video because you want to really look into DMAE, see if it's right for you. But if you have laxity, if you are looking for some firming, I find that when I use this in the morning, which is almost every single day, I notice a firmness to my skin from it. It does have fragrance. That's its only downfall. I have tried so many DMAE serums and lotions. This is my favorite and it's the least expensive of all of them. I've gone through a couple of these and I love it. It uses DMAE, alpha lipoic acid, and a sea ester. This one is perfect in conjunction with your other antioxidants in the morning. And I do feel like it gives you that instant kind of tightness under makeup. It's just beautiful. So this is an all-star for me, for sure. Eye cream. I only have one eye cream, you guys. I am not a huge proponent of eye cream. And it's not because there's not some really great eye creams out there. It's because I think that they're a money grab. I think that companies put tiny amounts of stuff in little jars and pots and tubes and charge you double. And that drives me nuts. This one is a simple eye cream that is effective. It hydrates, it makes your under eyes look good. It is not a miracle worker. It's not gonna get rid of dark circles and it's not gonna get rid of under eye bags, but it is going to hydrate your under eyes and make them look better. And it plays really well with makeup, doesn't weigh down your under eyes and it doesn't cause milia, at least for me. And that is the Sukiyaka Suhada. This is a urea eye cream. So this is the corresponding product to the essence love them both so much this is one full ounce for 22 bucks this tube lasts forever i have even put some of this in the palm of my hand added some of this made a lotion and used it as my face and neck and chest lotion and it's beautiful urea is this tiny little molecule humectant that is able to penetrate a little deeper and hydrate a little better than hyaluronic acid which is why these are so hydrating without any weight. So that is my all-time eye cream recommendation. I've been talking about it for years. Okay, moisturizer, you guys, I'm trying to speed so that we're not here for eight years, but moisturizer, Bonajour. I've talked about this just last month, so I won't go on and on. It is their green tea water balm. This is easily my favorite hydrator, moisturizer. It is 3.38 ounces, super inexpensive. It's lovely, you guys. It is the perfect drink of water. If you have dry, dehydrated skin, it just soaks right in and gives you this glow to your skin. I love the simple packaging. I think that that is really nice. I love the fact that it has green tea, which is soothing. And seriously, it soothes and hydrates your skin 
and it is super inexpensive. It is a wonderful moisturizer. The other one on the list is by Hadalabo. This is their perfect gel from the gold Gokujun line. If you've never tried the gold line of Hadalabo, it's definitely worth checking out if you have dry or dehydrated skin. It has like five forms of hyaluronic acid. It is also a gel cream. I've loved this for several years. You don't need a lot of this. I mean, honestly, the littlest amount of this goes a long way and hydrates like crazy. Now, what is the difference between the Bonajour Green Tea and the Hadalabo Perfect Gel? This one is even more hydrating than this one. This one is all about all kinds of hyaluronic acid. This one also has green tea and it's a little bit lighter. So if you've tried this and you're like, I could use even more moisture, this one. This line is just fantastic. Several products in there are favorites of mine, but this gel in particular, it, it's been in my arsenal forever. It's so, so good. Sunscreen. I love still my Dermatology Universal Tint. You guys, this is a dupe for the Ulta MD UV Clear. It has high purity niacinamide in it and it is tinted. There is no such thing as a universal tint, that's silliness. But what I do like about the tint of this one is, even if you are several shades darker than this tint, it's so sheer and it doesn't leave a white cast that it can be used by lots of skin tones. It is a gentle kind of neutral color. And like I said, it literally leaves, there's just not much to the cast. It is 12% zinc and octanoxate. So if you're not a fan of octanoxate, you might not like this one. I feel like this one just gives that glass skin. It helps with the pores. It is a perfect primer under makeup. You get a couple ounces and with my discount, it, I do have a code for this one. I think it's penny 20. I'll put it in the description box. You get 20% off. It takes it under 20 bucks. It is just beautiful. I always have this sunscreen on hand. The other one is the Purito Centella Unscented Green Level 50 PA++++. This one's under 10 bucks. I'm pretty sure you guys, it is such a good sunscreen. It uses a filter that we don't have in the United States that actually is more stable longer. I've gone through a couple tubes of these. I've just gone through a ton of it over the summer. It is not tinted, but it disappears into your skin. So it literally leaves no cast, plays really well under makeup. And I love the fact that it has that centella in there, which is soothing and wound healing and just a really fantastic ingredient. And like I said, it's under $10. It comes in this simple packaging, which I love. And it's a really, really good sunscreen from Purito. I like the unscented version. There is a regular scented version. I go for the unscented ver version. Okay, we have two extras, you guys. And these are the fun things that I had to include. One is Lumify. You guys have talked about this for years, I know but I wanted to include it in this budget friendly roundup because this is an eye drop that transforms your eyes. It literally takes the whites of your eyes and makes them kapow bright. And it also takes away any kind of red or pink rimming in your waterline. It just refreshes and makes the eyes look more youthful. And it is, it is expensive for an eye drop, but it does last a long time. I don't use it every single day, I get no rebound redness and I get no dry eye from this. I love it. Worth talking to your ophthalmologist if you are concerned, if you wear contacts, you need to read the instructions and all of that good stuff. But it's been a game changer for me. I feel like when I use this, it transforms my whole face because my eyes look brighter and I it makes me look more youthful. It makes your eyes look like they looked when we were younger before we ever needed eye drops unless we went out all night long the night before. So that is Lumify. And the other cool thing is, I was on the phone the other day with my friend Nancy who lives in the UK and you can now get this in the UK. It used to be that you had to get it from, my phone just scared me, you had to get it from the United States. Well, now you can get it over there too. So that is super exciting and I wanted to share that. The last thing on this list of all stars is patches. I know I've talked about these for acne. These are for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. These are the Mighty Patch Micro Point for dark spots. These are so cool because they are those little micro darts in a patch, 
but you use them on the dark spot that's left over after you've had a blemish. What is in these that makes such a profound difference in that hyperpigmentation that comes after a trauma is they have tranexamic acid in there, they have beta-glucan, they have the hyaluronic acid, they have niacinamide, and they also have glycolic acid and vitamin C. These are little patches for that post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, that dark mark that should knock it out much faster than if you did nothing at all. So the way that I would use these is on dry, clean skin at night on the blemish so that it can sit on the blemish all night long before the next day when you take it off. And I think that it should speed up the healing of that dark mark tenfold. So I'm super excited about these. I love all of the patches. I love the colloidal patches for the blemishes. I love the ones with salicylic acid. They're all really, really good. And to me, part of what they're doing is keeping your hands off the blemish. But once that blemish is gone and it wants to linger for, you know, a couple weeks, these are an awesome, an awesome antidote to that. That was like speed reviews of all of my budget favorites right now. Leave in the comment section any of your under $20 absolute favorites. Like what is an all time favorite of yours that's under 20 bucks? I would love to hear because I'm always on the hunt and then I always love to share because everything does not have to be expensive to be good. And I think all of these are awesome options at the drugstore under 20 bucks. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful week so far and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.